Okay, now let's find uh, another team. This time I'm going to use my Sandstorm Stall team. It's not really a fun team to use, but it's really solid. And I really hate Sandstorm Stall teams as well because they're not as solid as Rain Stall. Because it's just harder to use right now because the Excadrill is banned from OU. So it's just going to be harder for me to win battles, basically. So again, Spam Can. Variation plus 7. Not a lot. Mm, okay. But as you can see, my team, it's a really cool team. It has Hippodon, Fortress, Jirachi, Nido, Queen, Jellicent, and Celebi. His team is Fortress, Crafty, Volcarona, Gastrodon, Starmie, and Dragon Knight. Seems like a solid team. Let's see. Hmm... He has no spin blocker, so I can freely rapid spin out his uh, hazard. Okay, and uh, I'm expecting him of leading off with Fortress to take advantage. So I'm going to go with my Ferrothorn. I mean, uh, Jellicent lead. Okay, and I'm going to Will-O-Wisp it. Because hmm. uh, he might be switching out per probably to his, uh, I don't know what would he, what he would switch out to. So I'm just going to taunt, yep. Because he can't really switch out to anything safe. And now I'm going to Will-O-Wisp. And his fortress is now crippled. Which is cool. And he sends in his Scrafty. Must be that... Shed Shell variants, Crafty. Those are really, really annoying. So I'm going to hmm, go to my Needle Queen. I'm going to roar this thing out. Crunch is probably going to do like 35%, I'm guessing. Or Ice Punch. He uses Ice Punch as the Life Orb variant. Even more annoying. Okay, I'm going to now... Now, my team is really weak to Volcarona. That's a problem. Shit. Yeah, this is the first time I'm using this team as well. I, I, I haven't really tested it out or anything. So, most of these teams you're seeing me use are first-time used teams. Hipton is going to take the Fairy Dance quite nicely, only 59%. But the Volcarona is really defensive. It's really defensive. Took only 34% from a stab earthquake. Okay, I'm going to switch out to Jellicent. I'm going to taunt this thing. I don't want it to set up so much on me. And Jellicent should be able to take anything from this Volcarona. I'm going to recover now. As Bug Buzz will only do 33%. Now taunt. There's I only have three turns of taunt. So this is the last time I can recover. And now Taunt is going to wear off, so I have to uh, take this Volcarona out. Gold and 1%! Oh my god. Oh my god. Now, since he doesn't have leftovers or anything, it's most likely a Chesto Volcarona, meaning he can just rest up here. 1%. Scald only did 21%. Sandstorm damage, 6.25% more damage, and it lives... And at 1%. That's a freaking... Oh my god. It, it is a Chesto Volcarona. How unlucky of me. And this is going to allow him to Quiver Dance. And look. And he gets another special attack raise. He got one from here. And now here. It's only 50%. But he's getting really lucky. This is looking really bad for me. Jesus. And he gets another boost from Fury Dance. This guy is really lucky. And I've lost this. I can't. I can't win this anymore, unless I get a crit here. And no, I don't. Jesus. And that's my first loss. Major hacks right there. He's saying what? Like he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Let's try another battle. 
plus 21 variation, much better. But this guy's using a Deoxys speed, which most of you know is banned on Smogon. So, uh, this battle is going to be a bit harder because I didn't make any of my teams to beat Deoxys speed teams or anything. Because these teams, uh, I follow the Smogon tiers. But let's see. He has no spin blocker, so I can freely spin away his hazard with my fortress. Since he knows uh, I have a Hippodon, he's probably going to go with Deoxys at speed or Rotom W as his lead. So I'm going to go with Jirachi. He leads off with his Celebi. Now it must be a nasty plot, offensive kind of Celebi set. Unless if it's a Stealth Rock supporter, which most likely it is in his Stealth Rock supporter is either Deoxys Speed or Tyrantar. Unless his Deoxys Speed is one of those uh, mixed attackers with Life Orb, which is, yeah, which probably is uh, his Deoxys Speed's set. So I'm gonna use uh, Body Slam. I can take Earth Power quite easily. I'm really defensive. Now he is going to switch out most likely. If not, okay, he doesn't. I'm just going to Iron Head it then. Now, let's see. He's staying in. And now he decides to switch out. I'll go to my uh, Celebi. can take anything. Now, let's see. He's going to switch out now. To his... Pr probably his uh, Tyranitar. Hmm... Uh, or his Celebi, which could be annoying to my team here, if I do allow him to nasty plot. Shit. I'm gonna use Giga Drain. He's gonna go to his Lucario. I got Needle Queen, which walls the Lucario really well. And now I'm going to use Toxic Spikes. That's gonna make it much easier for me to take down his uh, Celebi. He uses Vault Switch. He's going to go to Selby most likely here. No? Okay. He goes to Tyranitar probably to set up his uh, Stealth Rock. So I'm going to send in my Needle Queen. I'm going to put in another set of spikes on it. And that's going to make it make his uh, Selby totally nullified from uh, sweeping me. So now I'm going to switch to Jirachi expecting whatever because uh, it's really def special defensive fire blast is not going to do that much. And now I'm going to use Wish. He goes to his uh, Rotom Wash. And let's see. Yeah, I'm going to need my Jirachi at full health. It's pretty crucial. So I'm going to switch to J Celebi right now. He's most likely going to use... Uh, Vault switch. And uh, he's going to switch out to perhaps his Tyranitar. Or his Lucario. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go to my Hippodon now. Now my Hippodon is really defensive. It's going to live the close combat. If he goes for that. Unless if I give it special defense by mistake. Which I'm pretty sure I didn't. Okay. Hmm. Gotta go with Celebi. I have no other option. Oh my god, a critical hit. Shit. Thank god that I lived. Hmm. He's gonna vault switch out safely here. That sucked. The critical hit really sucked because uh, my Celebi would have been at a much higher HP. Because uh, his. Rotom Wash can just Vault Switch all day on me. Crunch ain't gonna do much. I'm gonna use Stealth Rock. If he uses Sword Stance, that could be trouble. But he won't, because he's not gonna risk it. And I'm gonna switch out to my... Hmm. Nasty Plot sets. Since it has Earth Power, it most likely is a triple attacking Nasty Plot Celebi set. So I'm going to use Protect first, cause, uh, just to weaken it. It took a quite nicely, quite quite a nice damage from uh, the d Sandstorm damage. And I'm going to Wish, as I, as I expected it. It is the triple attacking 
Celebi set. And his Celebi is done. He's going to use it for uh, death, fod death Fodder later on. So I'm going to protect. It didn't gain any recovery from Leftover. Oh, it did. So uh, it's most likely one of those substitute Landorus sets. So I'm going to switch out to my Hippodon to Wallet. But Hippodon is going to take a, quite a lot of damage from the Earthquake if he has that but he doesn't it, it's it's a substitute hidden power stone edge earthquake kind of set so that's good hmm i don't really need my needle queen that much anymore so i'm gonna and i don't want to weaken my celebi because he might be just vault switching out here so i'm gonna go to my needle queen expecting the vault switch and now i'm expecting the hydro pump yup and now I'm going to recover back health. Some great predictions here on my part. And he gets another crit on my Celebi again with his Rotom Wash. God, the hacks really sucks. And now he can use uh, Hidden Power Ice on my expected Hippodon switch. But no, he gets uses Earthquake this time and gets a critical hit. Oh my god, why am I getting so unlucky? Jesus. Hey, he's going to most likely switch out to Votum W here. Jesus. Ah, uh, recover. I don't understand why he's staying in. I have Giga Drain. And I used it on him, so he knows I have that. He's just playing dumb and just getting lucky with critical hits, which is really screwing me up. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna switch to Nita Queen, use it as no. I'm gonna go to yeah, I'm gonna go to Nita Queen, use it as Death Fodder. Hopefully he uses substitute here so I can just show off my ice beam. Now he's gonna go for Earthquake because uh he knows I have that. Now Hippodon. I'm gonna double switch here, have nothing to lose. Go to my Celebi on his Rotom Wash. And now, if he if he doesn't use Volt Switch here, that's just stupidly playing right against my Celebi. See? Okay, now he stays in. He takes the Giga Drain really well. It must be a specially defensive kind of uh, Rotom Wash form. I'm going to recover because uh, he doesn't want his Rotom W to die because it's his best wall against my Hippodon. So he's going to switch. Now I'm going to use Reflect. He doesn't know I have that, but I do. Which is a really awesome move, and that's gonna help me out now. <laughs> Close combat only did 40%. Gonna slack off that damage. Hmm. He's gonna go to his Rotom Wash, and most likely gonna use Pain Split here. Uh, this is just annoying. I'm gonna recover. He go as he goes to his Tyranitar. Probably gonna Ice Beam or uh, Fire Blast, and I can take any of that with my Jirachi. Any of his moves, basically. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use Wish. He's gonna go to his Landorus and go to my Hippodon, which walls it. So this is oh and he gets another crit. That's like his fourth crit. That's his fourth crit. God, this guy's so lucky. Critical hit, critical hit everywhere. Jesus. Hmm. And that does matter because it weakens my Hippodon. It would have been at full health, which would have been able to take a sword stance close combat, but now it won't be. And look, it's gonna he's gonna be able to weaken my Hippodon now. And probably take it out later on with this uh, Lucario. So that really, really sucks for me. I want to switch out to my Jirachi, which walls uh, any kind of Deoxys speed set. Hmm. And I'm going to wish up now. I'm expecting him of switching to his road to Mosh now. Or not. Uh and a Body Slam. I Iron Hand is not going to KO it. 
body slam with the toxic damage and sandstorm damage should be able to take it out so it's uh all right yeah as it does because even if he switched out I would have been able to have a 60% chance of paralysis on it now I have to stay in I have no other choice here so he's, he's probably gonna use sword stance here or if he uses close combat hoping I get the 60% per, uh, paralysis and I do thankfully I've had enough. Oh, and I don't get the pair of flinch hacks. Oh my god, what's wrong with this game? Jesus. It's 60% chance plus 25% chance. This guy's been getting like so much hacks and I don't even get a 60% uh, a chance plus a 25% chance paralysis. Hit Giga Drain does not KO this Tyranitar. And it... Decreases my defense. Uh, okay, and because his Tyrant Tar is probably 252 HP, 252 special defense. And now my Selby is going to finish off this Rotom W. And, I and my rating right now is 1269. That was a really annoying. Th those last two battles were really annoying. Been getting hacked really badly. So it's a good thing I won. Now I'm going to use my fun uh, sun offense team. This is one of my favorite sun teams. So let's let's go. This uh, this team sweeps quite efficiently, so um, my battle should be quite short. And I'm against Sakura variation plus 19, great. But this person has a the trio, which it is a problem if I ha use my nine tails because I don't have air balloon. I have leftovers, and uh, so I'm gonna s lead off with my Venusaur, expecting Politoed as I as he does. Now let's see. He is most likely gonna switch out to his Scizor. I'm just gonna Energy Ball. I don't really care. Or he could go his go to his Jirachi. He stays in, probably expecting me of switching or something. Cause this choice spec. And now I'm going to switch out to my nine tails. Okay, and now I'm going to use Will O Wisp. And his uh, Dog Trio is not going to be able to KO me now. Let's see, his Stealth Rock supporter has to be either his Jirachi or Dog Trio. Hmm. I'm just going to use Protect first. Go. And now Fire Blast should be able to KO it. Hopefully, I don't miss. Earthquake only does 53%. Because my nine tail is very bulky. And now his Duck Trio is gone. Hmm. I'm going to switch out to my Venusaur. Hopefully, he attacks me. Because now I can trap this Choice Spec uh, Politoed and just Earthquake it. And now his Politoed is gone. Meaning, I can safely just send in my nine tails, bring in the sun, and sweep him. So that's to my nine tails. He uses a uh, choice scarf. I'm gonna hypnosis go for the sixty percent chance of paralysis, and now I can just sweep him with my Volcarona, as you can see right here. First, I'm gonna use uh, Quiver Dance. Drain Punch is not gonna break my substitute. Quiver Dance again. He's probably gonna go with okay, and now I'm just gonna finish it off with Fury Dance sweep. Okay, or I should I say she Sakura, but uh, most likely it's a he. As statistics statistics have proven, only ten percent of the players in Pokemon Online play, uh, that that are girls, play Pokemon. Only ten percent. That's very little. Hmm. Others would argue that. Girls don't really exist on the internet. And that's game. Good game. Alright. And my rating right now is 1288 on the Wi Fi OU ladder. And uh, let's check out my ranking. It's. Uh, 
My rank is 701 right now with 1288 points in 16 battles. My record is I have 15 wins and my, I only have one loss, which of course you guys know is the loss from that Volcarona hacks. Especially living at that 1% and then just sweep.